Now what we're going to do is start off. We're at the job site. We're going to take the oil out of the tank and start our process to get set up to spray. First thing is what we're going to do is there's oil here from the previous use that we did on another job. We're going to put a disposable cup down here. You're going to turn this switch on manually towards pump A. The light will come on. The pump takes about 10 seconds or so for it to start pumping the oil out. Once the oil is pumped out, the tank will empty out completely. Once this empties out, all the oil comes out of the tank into the disposable cup. We're gonna wipe the inside with acetone and get it prepared to pour the hardener or our resin in there. This your hardener bucket, which is red, goes to your red side. Blue and black will always be your resin. Make sure that you mix the resin bucket each day before you use the product. Once you pull the tab up on the red bucket, leave it up. Do not ever push this down. The reason is it could crystallize on the side and the tab can break on you. So once you pull this up, leave it up. Once you pump all the oil out, either your hardener side or your resin side, you still have uh, some product left here in the pump. So you need to run the motor here for at least 45 seconds for this product to be completely pushed out. These are your measuring cups that come in your toolbox. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it underneath here while the hoses are not connected still. We're gonna turn on this pump. We're gonna get one ounce product of hardener, one ounce product of the resin. Do the hardener first, cause it's easier to measure. Once you turn it on, go ahead, watch it. One ounce, stop the pump, move it over to the resin side. Turn on the pump, let it go to two ounces, stop. Once you stop, go ahead, pick it up. You have a stick. Go ahead, stir it slowly. It has to be a smooth consistency. If you see anything in there like sand or grains inside, that means there's still some oil residue left on either one of these tanks. So go ahead and run it for another 15 seconds. Do another one ounce each. Once you mix it the second time, you have to get a smooth consistency, which is kind of like mayonnaise. Do not circulate your product back into the pump unless you have a smooth consistency on the one ounce each measurement. Once you have smooth consistency, go ahead and hook up your red line to your red, your blue line to your blue. Now go ahead and hook up your air line. Make sure you put the right hose with the right tank. You'll see a red label here, a red label here. Go ahead and put it in your hardener side. You see a blue label here, a blue label here. Go ahead, put in your resin side. Once they're in, go ahead, turn on your pumps manually and allow it to circulate for five to seven minutes. This will get all the air bubbles out that was inside the pump. After you finish circulating the product, five to seven minutes, you're gonna leave the pumps on. You're gonna have a stopwatch somebody in front of you and you're gonna measure this for one minute see how much product you're getting in the cup. You're gonna count off three, two, one, move it over, stand here for one minute. Once the timer is done one minute, go ahead, put your lids back on and see how much product you have in that time period. So when we do our measurement for a two inch pipe, the easiest way is multiply two times two, that's four ounces. That's the total amount, two ounces of red, two ounces of blue. You don't ever do more than four ounces on a two inch pipe. The diameter is too small, you'll close it up. On a three inch pipe, multiply it times two. Two times three is six. That's the total amount, three and three. Four inch pipe, eight. Four and four ounces in one minute period. Six inch pipe, 12. Six ounces, six ounces in one minute period. Once you've done your measurement, go ahead, stop your pumps. You lift the lid up. If you have a little bit of backflow, let it stop. Once the backflow stops, go ahead, put in your check valves. They come in your kit, pop them in here. This will force the product not to go backwards. It will hold pressure. Do the same thing here on the resin side. Once the flow stops, you're gonna see trickle down. Once it stops, go ahead, pull it off and pop this in. Your check valves will have an arrow on here that's pointing that direction. That means this is the flow 
going with the arrow. Do not put the arrow backwards. Otherwise, you'll blow the pump. So make sure you're careful when you put these check valves that the arrow is following the flow into the skit. Once you place your check valves on your hoses, you're gonna test it to see if both of the products are coming out first. You're gonna hold it over a disposable cup or a trash can. You're gonna turn both your pumps on manually. Once you turn this on for the first time, go ahead, turn your pumps off. The first one will not give you an accurate count. Wait till the flow stops, turn on your pumps again, and see which one is coming out first. If the hardener's coming out first a little bit, half a second to a second, that's okay, don't panic. You just don't want the resin to come out first. And by doing that is adjusting the hardener anywhere between 0.3 to 0.5 higher on the reading than what you had previous. You don't need to raise your hardener if the hardener is coming out first, say one second to half a second. That's okay, it will crystallize in the pipe. So after one minute of measurement, you're gonna see what you have, how many ounces of each product you have in the cup. You're gonna start this off at 5.0, 5.0. There are four numbers. You do not worry about the last two numbers, you worry about the first two numbers. So on here to adjust this, one ounce up or one ounce down, it's one whole number, either up or down. You adjust these numbers on top with these buttons. You leave this 75% alone, which is these buttons here. Sometimes they accidentally go ahead and push this off button here on this side, which you can see it turns output, not. Output, not. If that doesn't show and you turn the pump on, Nothing is spinning because there is no output. Turn off the pump, go up here to the switch, turn it on, now it says out. Now you turn it on, your pump turns on. You have to have output. This machine runs on a 12 gauge power cord. Do not use anything else except 12 gauge. This also cannot run on a GFI plug. You have to find at least a 15 amp plug to run it. If you have a generator, anything over 3,500 will run this machine.